stadium too. So this is like pre-patch. Yeah, this is the premier. This was like, everybody's favorite round one. This is like New York, uh, New York local winners round three, color colorized 2019. See plenty of blaster, plenty of fair. Someone waiting for the first mistake. Right, and so far we've seen a jump onto platform laser, jump off the platform laser, but we got a back air in there. So I think we're starting to finally move on this train. It's a little bit of damage for good measure. Both of these players know that Wolf is a fairly explosive character and that he himself doesn't have that great of reversal options. Because if you can read the Nair, then Wolf is yours to juggle ad infinitum. It's just a matter of actually getting him into that position. But when you have two patient players who both excel at bursting their opponents and then getting the hell out before it becomes an issue, I think we've got a bit of a grind ahead of us, so I hope you like listening to Wolf sound effects. Right. But we're finally on the edge here. Gonna get the up smash, Dark Blues. I feel like in this type of matchup, you really have to take your advantage and just go. Like, like you know what the other characters of it is. Um, you know what the other character is capable of. So you know you really just want to get your first stock and be like, all right, gonna get that back throw on ice. I feel like in this matchup, though, you have to play your edge guard super aggressive. Oh, absolutely. This is the type of matchup where, like, you get your opponent pressured, you can't let them come back. You have to stick on top of them. And as far as the ledge is concerned, Wolf doesn't have the greatest of options for mixing up his recovery. Wolf Flash is fairly linear with not a lot of degree of movement. And then his up B itself is also, it doesn't have that great of range unless he's coming directly up. But good read at the center stage, gets ice first blood. But he's chilling at 138% right now, so I don't see this man committing to much more than peel away forward errors and lasers until Blues break zone. Right. And Ice gonna get a couple of the couple of the aerial strings and back off. He's like, all right, I got my 45, 54%. All right, I'm done. Backing it, up the laser again. I feel an important note about all the species, but most importantly, Wolf, is that in Ultimate, they really can't just super extend a combo. They get themselves in, they get an Pretty solid combo string. It could take you to the ledge. Right. Very much like that upbeat is going to take right out to the blast zone. But with Wolf, you don't want to push too heavily because if you overextend, you really pay the price hard. Right. And sure. facing a character like Wolf, this is not a ditto where you really want to be messing around too much. Mm -hmm. It's like one quick read and that's it. You're done so. And uh, if we're going to look at the clock here, I mean, we're almost halfway through this match and um, one stock has been taking on each side. So I think we're in for a long one, folks. We're gonna get the up smash. Ice, nice catch. You know, a lot of it, I'm always surprised by Wolf Link's up smash that kind of like scoops from afar away and just drags you up with it. It's always, it always takes me by surprise. It's such a good anti-air option because it covers when your opponent just wants to like belligerently cross you up with aerials and they just keep doing it thinking they can get away. Because Wolf's up smash starts a little bit wider and then it tippers upwards. Mm -hmm. Like, it, you're covering so much aerial space. You're responding really well for most things. And the fact that both of these players are trying to aggressively come in from the air instead of the ground makes it much more of a viable option than what you would typically see in the ditto. Right, for sure. And I mean, during that, during the neutral of the stock, you know, we actually saw Ice go in a lot more than he was now. Um, I really appreciated, you know, he was like, all right, you know what, I have, I kind of had this advantage. Let's see how far I can push it. And he pushed it. He pushed Dark Blues to 93. Oh, goes for the up smash. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh, but gonna get that get one, doesn't another up smash. I feel like both of these guys at some point started the set and they were scared. They were like, oh man, fighting Wolf sucks. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm Wolf. Wolf right, right. I sitting pretty at zero, or seven now, but. Blues has a tendency to like hang around really patiently and then he'll just go off on whoever he's fighting. Right. So I'm really hoping he tries to kick that back, because if he decides to snap a little too hard, it's not going to take a lot of effort for Ice to read his movement, get a back air, and end things out right quick. Right. Ooh, going to go for the up smash. Doesn't get it. Ice is kind of chill. Ooh, nice. Reads the get up. Going to go for the forward throw. And I like the range that he chilled at. He didn't want to stay too close for get up attack. He wanted to be able to be prepared for the roll. Back throw, just not barely not kill. killing. Just touch the corners. Beautiful DI from Blues, but it's not going to save him from the forward tilt as Ice takes game one. And not a terrible Wolf ditto, just kind of, you know, very slow, very patient, you know. Indeed. 
I think both of the players knew their combos, kind of pushed their advantages, but at the end, Ice really kind of changed his style and was just like, you know what? I'm done playing this waiting game. I'll push it for a little, and then he brought it back, and then, you know, we kind of saw that slow, you know, neutral again. But, God, I hope he goes Joker. <laughs> I would like to see the change. I think Blues' Joker is nasty. When he's feeling himself, right. he's confident no, in his play. Too. He is very similar um, in the previous iteration of Smash where his Cloud, like, yeah, a lot of people play Cloud, but him especially, he just liked to be explosive. He liked to do a lot of the fancy stuff, and he knew when to choose when to do that. Right. Joker is a fantastic character for that style of play, and they're going to F Omega e. Venom, so I gather we're going back to the Wolf Ditto, but it's even more Wolf Ditto-y than before. Plus five on the aesthetic for it. All right, we're going back to the Wolf Ditto. Okay, Mance is feeling it. He's got the shades on, titties on the you know, head. The He's ready. the first day I ever met Dark Blues at Zenith 2014, he was wearing nice. those sunglasses. All right, we're going to start off kind of how we started before. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how having no platforms. Are you that, idiot? <laughs> we'll see how having no platforms will affect the matchup this time. But so far, all we've seen is laser like we did at the beginning of the first game. I feel like. Final Destination just further makes this more of a waiting game because now you don't have platforms to mix up on. And I feel like there's there's less options at the ledge that Ice has to worry about covering because that's what a lot of game one was, was Blues puts on the damage, he messes up his positioning, Ice pushes him to the ledge, and eventually he just edges him out. Right. But now it's like you, all you have is a ledge. All you have is center stage with Final Destination. Ooh, I like the get up from ice there. I don't think anybody was expecting him to just go land on stage. And I mean, Dark Blues was just jumping, so he kind of caught him out. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those like once a set things where you forget that it's an option because it's so risky, right. but. I mean, it's working. Dark Blues kind of has the percent lead and the stock lead now. So we'll see how he can hold on to it. He's still going in surprisingly. Looking a little bit different from last game. And I'm not too surprised given that he doesn't have like uh, too dangerous a percentage that's on board. 92, while Wolf can make quick work of that. Not committing to the down smash too far, going off with drop zone there. It doesn't end out the stock, Ooh. but excellent Gets spacing on the forward tilt. All right, Ice picks quick. it right back up. Yeah, quick, quick stock conversion there. But Ice gonna eat some percent here. Dark Blue's really commanding the neutral right now. And I love this play from Wolf. You know, every, every option you are getting from the ledge is being met with some sort of wolf aerial. Yo, the Sector Z Ooh. kick line looking fantastic Ooh, okay. this season. All these Nairs doing so much work for Blues. My word, but doesn't read the jump in time and instead meets a couple of fares. What are Risky. you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Why? I mean, it won't. Oh, never mind. I was about to say it won't kill nope. him, but it actually did. So. <laughs> this is exactly what I was talking about earlier, Lyric. You can't overextend with this character, especially against Wolf. He loves Ooh, when he doesn't nice have to work for ice. his kill. When he's delivered his food, he's got all the tools in the world to rip you apart. Either take a clean stock or put on a ton of damage, get tons of stage control. When Blues delivers himself to his opponent, it's always a sad sight. Ice kind of just waiting, kind of just throwing out his up smashes now, which I, 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 I mess with. I, I, I can agree. I mean, he's sitting kind of nice at that 145. You know, Dark Blues isn't really connecting with any of his finishing moves on him. All right, what's the option? Mm. Going to go for the, the tomahawk. tomahawk. All right. Trying to read with Wolf's back air. But that up smash may and will take that set. And that went from a almost game three to a definitely a 2-0. Yeah. Just from that, just from Dark Blues getting antsy just I once. I did not want any of that business. Right, for sure. And I mean, 